All right, I'm going to do a quick overview of the Shine Phone app on the iPhone and then the web-based uh, dashboard. Uh, I did a summary of the web-based dashboard the other day. I wanted to show the app today. Uh, one of the reasons I use the app on the phone is the web page doesn't work as well on the phone as it does on the computer. Uh, and the app actually does work pretty decently. So the uh, main first tab is the dashboard. <clears throat> it shows the um, summary for, for the dailies production uh, with uh, how much you produced this month, the total you've ever produced uh, in total, and we're just shy of one and a half megawatts, uh, and then the current power being generated by the panels. Uh, this also updates every five minutes or so based on the, the inverter updates. And there's just some other summary details in here. Uh, if you go down below, it will show you um, some summary data to by day, month, year. So I can look at how much I've generated over the last few months of this year. Uh, 465.6 kilowatt hours in March. Uh, and we're in April now, so I only have a little bit produced. And I can also break it down by how much per year. So far this year, we've done 963.7 kilowatt hours. Last year, we only did 306.4, and that's because I installed the panels last year at the end of the year. And then by day, it also shows a breakdown uh, of this month. It's only April 2nd. So today we've done 7.3 kilowatt hours. Uh, and then down below, it just shows a little bit more metrics on supposedly how much we've saved in terms of CO2, standard coal, deforestation. This, these numbers aren't so relevant and meaningful because I know a lot of our power is produced uh, by nuclear power. So it won't really make much uh, of a difference uh, in terms of... Um, I, I don't know if these numbers mean anything, actually. But, uh, but it is an indicator. And so if we want to refresh it, we just pull it down, and then it will refresh the page uh, and the tab. We can go over to the plant view. And in the plant view, it's the same idea. We can refresh it if we need to. And it will show per inverter uh, how much we're producing. So it will show um, the total. And then it will show the breakdown of each inverter. You can see in this case, uh, N is producing at 15, 54 watts. Uh, batteries at 58%. There's no grid power because we're running purely off solar. Uh, and then the load consumption is 446 watts for that one inverter. For other solar uh, power linked inverter, uh, the numbers are similar. Um, the power consumption from the house is 353. So and then we can go down on, and look at more metrics for this particular inverter. Uh, and it will give us info on what it's currently doing. So here's this morning's activity. Uh, we pulled some power from the grid. Um, the, what is around 2.30 to 4 um, because the battery had gone low during the night. And then, um, and then we stayed on uh, when we kicked back into battery after we had charged it until sometime in the morning and then it went to grid for a little while and then uh, and then solar began to kick in somewhere around uh, how does it look here about 11 uh, 30 12 or so it the solar took over again after it charged the battery up to 45 percent and then it's just been running on solar ever since um, we can go back to the previous day if we like uh, it's the same as the uh, web page in a lot of ways but just um, a slightly different format and um, and we can just over, overall see how it's working on the, um, on the phone app. And then on the web page view, um, it's the same information. So I can actually look at the two and see um, if they're identical. And they look to be fairly similar. Let me refresh and see. And then I'll do a refresh over on the web page and see. It is interesting because for the same inverter, oh yeah, they're the same. Yeah, it's showing the same information on the web page as it is on the app. Uh, this is for this particular inverter. And uh, same idea. It will show the breakdown over the course of the day and how much, um, you know, how much we've been generating through solar. One thing that's different is the color coding of the charts aren't the same. That would be nice if those were similar. Um, and the chart on the phone seems to show a little bit more detail in terms of the different... Um, draws or sinks for power and production of power than it does on this view here. Uh, but I do like the web page view a little bit better, particularly since I can mouse over and I can actually see some data at the timestamp level, whereas on the phone app, I don't have that level of granularity. 
But otherwise, they're both very similar. I think that the web page is better if you're at your computer. Uh, but if you have your phone with you, it's very nice to be able to just go in and pull down, refresh, and see how much uh, you've been producing um, if you're away from home. All right, thank you. If uh, you have any questions or you want some information on how I set it up or if I had any challenges, which I didn't really have any. It just took a little bit. Uh, I followed the directions, got it set up, and, uh, and everything was pretty easy after that. It's just been an issue of collecting the data. What I would like is better data um, presentation, historical, and reporting. I think this tool is okay. I would definitely like to have better data. I'm looking at um, Solar Assist uh, Assistant as a possible alternative um, with a Raspberry Pi and some software. I think that would be a better alternative to this. But for now, I'm going to use this for a while just to make sure uh, I'm exercising it to the maximum I can. All right, if you're enjoying these videos, uh, hit subscribe and, um, and like the video. And uh, definitely share this channel with others because I'm happy to share information. If I get any requests, I'll, uh, I'll try to target that information as well. All right, thank you.